Seven parties are contesting today's by-election. It is being held after three good councillors resigned in April to join the DA. Two are now standing as DA candidates, while the other returned to good and will again be contesting his ward. We are here to say to the people of George, allow us to finish the term by re-electing good like you've done in 2021 so that we can continue to be of service to the people of George. Opposition parties say they want to take power out of the hands of the DA. The town is governed by a coalition between the DA and Freedom Front Plus. When we uh, win the three wards, it puts us in, in the pounding seat. In other words, the DA won't be able to do whatever they like to in the city. Uh, they will have fierce opposition. We are fierce opposition at the moment, but we intensify the opposition in order to fight for our people here. Yeah. We are looking to increase our footprint in George and in the entire Southern Cape and we think that this is the opportune moment to actually start that process. So what's coming out clear here, people want to change, they are unhappy with the DA and I think with our team and our candidates here, John and Millie, we are well positioned uh, for the by-election. Well, we've got one plan which is to unseat the Democratic Alliance in the Western Cape. So this is the start of our plan. Is to, uh, we've taken the vote in Kensington and we are planning to take all three votes here. The DA is however confident that they will be able to win back the three wards. Well, we are ready. You can hear in the music of my background. We're busy loosening up the spirit. We're going to change what was once orange to blue and in all three wards. On Wednesday, we have been here since this morning. You can feel the need for change. But as well, you can feel the community are now warming up to change and change in all three wards. And that change is going to be the Democratic Alliance. The IEC says all polling stations opened on time this morning. Tanya Krauser, SOBC News, George in the Western Cape.